there's got to be some sort of... Of course, when your family's as populated as mine... <laughs> Sweeping the stables? No. <laughs> then get back to it and tell Dad I'll be done when I'm done. Yeah, Dad! 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 Uh, hi. Spurge, what have I told you? Trousers first, then belt? We don't stab dinner guests. You're not the mom of us. Hey, why don't you walnuts go gather some firewood for dinner? Go, go on now. Look at me! Me! Nettle, how did you get up there? Hi, Parsley. Thistle dared me to become a guard. I'm scared. <gasps> I know, buddy. But if you're brave for one tiny hop, you can have all the butterscotch custard you want. That's my favorite. Come on, Nettle. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. You hear me? Was I brave? Hey all, this is Cameo Shadowness here to actually talk about the results. So surprisingly, it turns out Spurge actually talks the least with only nine different words, with Clover and Thistle being tied at second place for 15. Not gonna lie, I thought Clover didn't speak at all unless it was with the group. And for some reason, Thistle's voice changed. Like, I don't know what's up with that, but it it changed when he ended up speaking in the Cape of Inca episode. I think he was sick. He went from this I did not! to this. Smash the monsters, Parsley! I love you! Weird, ain't it? And then you have Nettle, who spoke a total of 39 words. So that threw me off because I never really felt like he was a chatterbox. I always felt like Thistle was the one that was a chatterbox, but I was wrong. It's just that Nettle had a lot in a single episode. And he was plot relevant. And Nettle is pretty stupid, I'm not gonna lie. What are we gonna do with this information? Hell if I know, I literally had this idea just bugging me for a while now and I, uh, I don't know, do whatever the fuck you want. Deuces.